Hello everyone, here's a question from rational numbers. The question is, find 5 rational numbers between 7 and 8. Now this type of questions are really important. In place of 7 and 8, they can give any other number. They can give you a rational number, they can give you a whole number like 7 and 8 or 3 or 4, anything. So how to find out them? So remember, there are infinitely many rational numbers between a two rational numbers. Now do we agree that 7 and 8 are rational numbers? Yes, they are rational numbers and you have learned that any integers or whole numbers or natural numbers can be written in a rational number form. That is, we can write the given the whole number, natural numbers and the integers can be written in the form of P by Q. And rational numbers are in the form of P by Q, right? So 7 and 8, how we can write them in a rational number form? So it will be 7 by 1 and it will be 8 by 1. See, 7 by 1 is same as 7 and 8 by 1 is same as 8. So instead of writing 7 and 8, we're going to write it as 7 by 1 and 8 by 1. Now, like I said, there are infinitely many rational numbers between 7 and 8. But how to find out? There's no gap between 7 and 8. So how to find out? So you ha might have learned how to find out the equivalent rational numbers of the given numbers right they are equivalent so how to do that so you can do it either by multiplying or dividing the numerator and denominator for example so let me set a solution here we have a number 7 and 7 is same as 7 by 1 right now similarly 8 we have and 8 is same as 8 by 1 now since there is a very less gap or there is no gap between 7 by 7 by 1 and 8 by 1 but I said that there are infinitely many rational numbers between these two so how to do it so I'm going to find out the equivalent rational number of 7 by 1 and 8 by 1 so if you know the concept of how to find out the equivalent rational number it will be easy for you to understand so you can multiply and divide a numerator and denominator with any number but make sure that you're multiplying with that number in the numerator and denominator. So the very simple method or uh, simple number you take is 10. You can take any number, you can take 100, you can take 50, 60, 71, anything. But I'm taking 10 because it is easy for calculation. So I see a lot of questions in the comment that why we are multiplying with 10. So you can multiply with any number. I'm taking 10 because it's easy to multiply. So let's start this. So I'm going to find out the equivalent rational number of 7 by 1. So 7 by 1 is equal to, I'm going to multiply both numerator and denominator by 10. So this will be equal to 70 by 10. Similarly, for the other number, we have 8 by 1, which is same as, uh, I'm going to find out the equivalent rational number, so 8 by 1. So again, we have to multiply here with 10. So don't take other number for the second rational number. So it should be same because your denominator has to be same. So if you have solved other problems like this, you will come across that the denominator has to be same. So here we got uh, 10 and uh, we'll get 80 by 10. Now, denominators are same and if you look at the gap between 70 and 80, we, ha we have got around 9 numbers, right? 10 numbers between 9 and 10 numbers between 70 to 80. So, don't include 70 and 80. You should not include that because we have to find out between them. So, don't include 70 and 80. Excluding those two numbers, you can start with 71. So, 7 by 1 equivalent is 70 by 10. If you cancel this number 70 and 10, you'll, cut, you'll again get back 7 by 1. That is why we're taking equivalent rational number. The both are equal. Though uh, the, the, the value is different, but they are equal. So the 5 rational numbers, asking us to find out the 5 rational numbers. So 5 rational numbers will be, therefore, 5 rational numbers between 70 by 10 or you can take 7 by 1 7 by 1 or 7 anything and 8 by 1 are you can take any 5 numbers between 70 and 80 like I'm going to start with 71 so 71 by 10 then 72 by 10 you can take 74 74 by 10 and we have 75 by 10 and last I'm going to take 79 by 10. You can take any five numbers you can write down. Now in the question they ask us to find out five. Sometimes they ask you to find out three or sometimes ten. So what you should do is you have to just take a number so that the gap between these two will be more. 
like if I take a number like suppose 4 okay I'll multiply 7 by 1 with 4 like 7 multiplied by 4 1 multiplied by 4 what happen is gap between these two number will be not sufficient I may not get a required number of rational numbers so that is why you have to take a number which is quite great and easy to multiply now one more point is your answer may differ from your friend's answer your teacher's answer but don't worry your answer is correct how to cross check that now I'll just show you this like we have 7 and 8 right now if you convert the 70 by 10 into decimal 70 by 10 is equal to 7.1 yes again 72 by 10 will be same as 7.2 you can see that 7.1 7.2 the lie between 7 and 8 yeah so you can cross check your answer you can convert this into decimals and you can see that they fall between these two given national numbers so i hope this question is clear in case you have further question or doubt you can drop a comment thank you so much for watching